all right so in this video we are going to continue from you know the previous video where we had our you know application uh, kind of saving the you know message and doing an emit through socket and we are we were able to get that information in our node server and from there on we were you know emitting it and now what is left is our client side code to i mean kind of you know listen to that emit and react accordingly in our inbox we are going to listen to an event which is message and we will get data now what initially we will do is let message equals json parse data okay and uh, so we will do this and let's see what is happening whether we are able to get this message is assigned a value but never used fine so we'll do anyways we forgot the console log so console log message now he should be okay with it right so create another message check check and uses store is different um i don't think it is listening to it is it yeah it is not let us see why so first thing is in here i have publish as message which is because this is message and in our node server application i'm doing this which is again fine i have the same name <sighs> subscribe redis client where redis client equals redis cl client created then well, this is working which means socket dot emit is socket do we have any so yeah so where is socket coming from it's coming from this which is again fine so so far so good and emit channel message so is this wrong is it no though so because we are getting the message here so whatever we are emitting here should be correct right so what is the problem let us yeah we got the second one as well right um but it says uh, one new client okay which is fine yeah still one new client refresh now what is wrong inbox yeah i think the problem is i'll open up in a new window and then check again check again i think that is the problem let me save here and yes in this window i got the you know the broadcast because so what is happening is you know two clients uh, are not there so uh, what i can ideally do is take it here i should log in with a different user so that done private messages okay i have these many i'll open up the console here clear it out clear this out as well and now if i sent a message to foo add and then send i'm getting it here right so the data is available so the only thing which we need to do is we need to check whether 
the data is for the intended user and if that is the case simply add it to his inbox right so which means we need to write something in our store where is our code client labs we go to our store and let's see we what what do we have uh, new message received set messages sent such as view um, messages received is this so we don't have a new message right um, so we'll have to do that what are the actions we have set user message received um, response and it's all, all the messages so private id clear message and private message we will add a new function okay which is let's say new message notification so new message notification i'm calling it notification because you know this is also going to handle the um you know, what is our ui so this notification things when you see it you know here i will have some widget which gives you that facebook kind of a feel that you know there is something new so yeah that's that's how i want to do it so commit and what else do we get we get the message right so this is the function nothing special we'll do a commit we'll have a mutation called new underscore pm notification and it is going to take the message okay so let's write the mutation copy this and so we'll need the state we'll need the message and what we are going to do is so one thing is uh, we need that message to be on top so we don't do a simple you know state push instead what is a uh, states it is mes messages received right so messages received dot unshift message which should put it on the top okay and let's see again um, send pm to full like this no it is not oh sorry <laughs> we did everything and we haven't called the function so new message notification we need to call it inside this dot dispatch sorry dollar store dot dispatch store dot dispatch and we need to pass the message remove this all right that's already visible but let's try one more time send message sorry select the user is it working is it working okay and i'll hit the send button and i can see it here right and same goes here from foo i send a message to amitav yes it does hey the real time communication is working so i do a save and i get this so pretty much that's how we you know uh, can do a chat previously we our chat was done through pusher but you know you can very easily convert that thing into something you know like this uh, socket.io and redis implementation because uh, we don't need to you know rely on some external service for this especially because you know pusher has uh, limits on the free accounts so yeah um by the way uh, i have gone ahead and done a lot of code on the real time app which is uh, you know something which you can look at 
uh, on this URL which is my github uh, code base I, I'll push it and master but for now you can go into development and also check that but yeah I think uh, no, uh, rather you should look at the master because once this video is done I'm anyways going to uh, merge the development branch into the master so you will see all the code in here and it has all those you know, real-time uh, cool notifications and everything coming uh, on the top bar and you know a few goodies uh, therein and uh, you know, things like once you click on it on the notification you quickly change the red status as the message is viewed uh, quite a few things so yeah um, yeah that's about it you know that's how we do real-time communication the private messages using uh, you know laravel vue.js redis and socket.io um, i'll come up with a new series again um, yeah uh, thanks for watching guys if you like these videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share the videos on social networking websites